Hi everyone, so this is going to be a very interesting video. In this video, we are going to see how to watch a lecture with good amount of efficiency and a better output and in a minimum time. So a lot of students message me, sir, uh, with, uh, in one hour of video, we take two hours to watch that particular lecture. So how you can watch it quickly. So this is my, my lecture only, Introduction to Capacitor and RC Circuits. So I will watch this and not, I, I am not going to watch it completely, but uh, on a brief manner, I will show you how to watch this particular lecture okay so let's start watching the lecture right from the beginning okay so hello everyone so in this video we will start so, okay, uh, from the index of capacitor so, then we will go to zero actually i cannot hear the, the sound circuit. because we'll uh, i have uh, then we will go to inductor then we will see the circuit then we will see the circuit so that's right? how we are going to complete our transit he is just talking he might be talking what what he is going to cover in this particular lecture so this i can hear and first thing is i i will I will put this on 1.5x. So if you want to put it on 1.75x well, you can you can put it on 1.75x as well. Okay. So now I will start like now on the screen he has written everything, and I will be having the notes right. I will be having the notes with me because he must have given me the notes. And uh, if you are watching it live, then you might not be having the notes. But if you are watching it recorded, because 90% of the students watch it recorded only. I know that thing. Nobody like I'll, a very few of people watch it, watch it live because in live our efficiency our efficiency drops because we have to watch as per the teacher right so 90% uh, of the student prefer watching it uh, recorded only even in during my time of preparation i used i watched all the lectures recorded only live i watched one or two lectures only so yeah we prefer watch, watching it recorded so if we are having recorded classes that means we will be having the notes already with us so if i am making my own notes then i am having the fair road book if I am if I am watching uh, with the uh, with the hard copy of the notes or even the soft copy of the notes, then at least I will have the notes with me and I will have a rough notebook with me. So now on the screen, what I can see, he has written the things like initial charge, initial voltage, and then he he has made a current source and capacitor is there, and uh, he he will write down the VC equation. So these kind of things he has already taught in the basics of network analysis, right? He must have taught in the basics of network analysis only in the first chapter. So I already know this thing. So what I will do, I will just skip it. Okay, initial charge is CV naught. I know this thing. Initial voltage is V naught. Now he will write down the equation. This equation also I know. It. I know it. So just just skip to the next part. Now he will write. He has written the property of the capacitor and also written if you are giving some current, then it will the capacitor will charge and gain some voltage. And uh, um, now here I can hold because. These properties I might not be knowing. So he will tell about the property so, that I will listen. So this is the property the capacitor follows. So what is the property? He will be telling about the property. Equal to VC of P equal to VC of P plus. What does it mean? I cannot hear the sound. That means that the capacitor doesn't change its voltage. Now he will be telling that current and what does it mean? Uh, uh, voltage and voltage would be zero minus I have five equal. Voltage. So if the current, current is finite, if the current is finite, then the voltage will change. But if current is finite, then voltage will be equal. Only when there is a finite current, that's the very very important point. Current can be different. So this thing he might be telling now, right? Okay. okay. Can so now I can see okay. it by skipping these parts only. Like, 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 like okay, he is writing down something. Then I can skip this part. That doesn't mean when he was writing down capacitor doesn't change this voltage. And I know he will write something. He will write down something. So I can skip this part. Because so now then I will just pause on to the pause on to 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 this space. Okay. 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 Okay.
Now I will pause the video here and will solve VR equation by my own. I will solve the VR equation by my own because he will be doing the same thing. So first I will try it on my own in my rough notebook and then I will match if he is doing, doing the same thing or not. Or at least I can wait, wait till he write down the equation. At least till that time I can wait. Okay. And I he will be replacing with VR by R and then he will be solving the problem. So these, in this manner only I will be watching this lecture. I will be skipping this part. By posing the video, I will be skipping this part. It's not that I will skip directly like this. No, not directly like this. I will skip with this forward button. 5 seconds, 5 seconds, 5 seconds. So that I could know like what he is doing. Okay. So in this manner, like uh, for VCT as well, he has sold in the same manner. So quickly I can go to, through this part, right? And uh, let's move to the part ahead. So a lot of theory is written that how to find the time constant of the circuit. Okay, so theory is not useful even in the lecture I would say that this part is not useful. Let's solve a problem then you will be understanding this theory. This is what I will be telling in the lecture itself, right? So here I am telling what, what is the meaning of effect, effective capacitor and effective resistance. So now uh, this is a given circuit and now I will tell that first you need to nullify the independent sources and then you need to check what is the effective capacitor and what is the effective resistance. So you will, you can yourself calculate the time constant. That would be RC. So effectively and quickly you can write down the equations. Right. And this is the method 2 of solving the circuit. So method 2 I have given. And in the end, in the end, here we will see what is actually happening in the circuit. So first I will tell it and then I will write down the theory. So basically when it starts, I will tell initially capacitor is shorter. So 5 by R current is flowing. That current is charging the capacitor. If the capacitor is getting charged, then some amount of voltage is there. Because of that, the current is being current is being low and if current is being low then the st speed of uh, capacitor charging is being low. So in that manner I will be telling you, I will be telling the complete uh, explanation then I will be writing it. So here I must be telling it and then I am now I am writing it. So I can skip this part no when I am writing the things like this 5 by R current flows through the gap. So why would you see me writing the things? You can si simply skip this part right. Now, uh, now let's assume after some time the capacitor has developed some voltage. So now uh, this thing has been written. Now I will draw the circuit. So this part also I can skip. So intelligently you need to know what part you need to stop and what part you need to you can skip. So one hour and 30 minute of video can be watched in one hour and 30 minute at max. And in minimum you can watch in one hour as well. If you have good amount of catching power. So this is the point I wanted to deliver. This is how you can watch the uh, lectures. So effectively use the forward button, backward button and the <laughs> space button. Effectively, you, 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 you need to use these buttons. So this is how I used to watch the lectures. Approximately around when I was a student, I used to watch a lot of, a lot of lectures like um, all kind of teachers, uh, wh whoever is there on, on, on online education, in online education, I used to watch all the lectures of all of them. Okay, by somehow I, I arranged the, uh, somehow I arranged their classes and I, I have watched all of them, all of those. Like, so... I, so I had the good habit of watching the lecture. So just this is what I wanted to deliver here. So I effectively use the forward and backward button. You use pause button. Watch the video on 1.75x or 1.5x. Some teachers uh, speak fastly. Just like, just like me, I also speak fastly. So you can watch my lecture at 1.5x. So at least 1.5x you can watch all the lectures. Okay, all the all kind of teachers. All uh, no one will speak so fast. So at 1.5x you can watch that lectures of all the teachers. Okay. So in this direction we will proceed. In this in this manner we will proceed. And in the end, like generally teacher will tell uh, what we are going to cover in the next class. So now here it must have been completed. Now I'm I will be telling what I am going to cover in the next class. Or I will be telling to like and subscribe. All kind of things I will be telling. So here also you can skip uh, to the next lecture. So in that manner we will be proceeding. Okay. So in this way you can watch the lectures quickly. Okay, so yeah, if you found this video helpful, a kind of different video is there. Okay, no one talks about it, but I just thought of making it. So if you found it helpful, you can like and subscribe to this particular video. Um, subscribe to the channel and like this particular video. Okay then, thank you very much.